What's up guys, welcome to Apex, thanks for tuning in. This month, Samsung has started rolling out the June update a little earlier than expected for the Galaxy S25 series. And maybe the rest of the devices also would get this update early. And the main reason could be because the One UI 7 beta is right around the corner here in India. We're expecting the first beta here, which is gonna be the second beta in the US, uh, Germany, and a couple of more countries in the West. And we will get our first beta of One UI 8 very, very soon, probably in a couple of days, or maybe next week and that could be the reason the June security patch has just arrived here in India and maybe in many other countries as well. Now this update is also important for another reason that is the battery performance issue. Many of the Samsung Galaxy phones have been facing the battery performance issue after the One UI 7 update and in some of the countries in the west you guys have already received second update for the month of May which was almost 1 GB which would have improved the battery performance so let me know in the comment section whether that update has improved the battery performance on your device or not. But here in India and in few other countries we did not get the second update in May. We are straight away getting the June update, which is also slightly larger in size. So let's hope that this update fixes the battery performance on the S25 series and all other Samsung Galaxy phones. It could be S series, A series, F series, M series, or any phones which are running on One UI 7. Now in this video, I will talk about this update. Let's see how the phone is performing after the update. And also if you're interested in knowing about this widget, how I have set this up on the lock screen, you can stay tuned. I will be posting a video about this very, very soon. And yeah, do not forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. Now let's dive right into the video. Let me unlock the phone here. Let's go to the settings, tap on software update, download and install. As you can see, the seamless update is right here for the S25 series. The size is 586.39 MB and the version number ends with AYF2 and it says the security patch level 1st June 2025. In the change log, it doesn't talk about anything here. After updating, you will not be able to downgrade to the old software because of the update to the security policy. So you'll not be able to go to the previous version. We have got device stability improvements, maybe some enhanced features and as further improvements to performance. Let's go ahead, let me tap on resume update this will be updating the phone in the background it is downloading and installing and the verification will also begin very soon once it's done let me come back to you guys okay now the phone has restarted and the update is complete now I'm quite curious to go to the members application and see if there is any notification for the beta first we need to check the banners over here we do not see any beta banners yet. And if we don't see anything here, let's also check the uh, banner at the bottom here. We have got a separate section for beta program. We can tap on this. It says no beta programs are available now. Check back again soon. So in another couple of days or hopefully by uh, Monday, next Monday, we should be able to see the uh, beta here in India and in a couple of more countries. Now let's quickly see how the phone is performing. Let's open a few applications. This is our routine test after the update. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's go to the recent app. You can see no issues as far as the lags or status are concerned. Let's open the quick panel, notification panel, no issues whatsoever. Let's see if there is any issue here with the quick panel alone. Nope, on the home screen, everything seems to be pretty good. That's a basic test we usually do just to check if there is any lag or stutter after the update. Now, as far as the battery performance is concerned, I'm not facing a major issue here, but yes, there is a slightly lesser battery life I'm getting maybe about half an hour or so. But if you are facing any major issues, then this update may be able to fix that issue. Now, let's also go ahead and see if there is any update for the applications. Nope, there is no other updates. Let's go to the settings. Let's go to security and privacy updates. And here you can see we have got the Google Play system update for May, which we received a couple of days ago. Let's see if there is any update for this. It says your, your device is up to date. So there is no further update for Google Play system. That's about it. That is something which I wanted to share with you guys. As soon as we get the update for the Galaxy S24 Ultra and the S23 Ultra, I will keep you guys posted. Uh, currently, I'm not making any videos for the mid-range phones like A series and few other uh, series. But in the future, I will definitely try to include them. But yeah, more or less all the features, updates, related videos will be applicable for all those mid-range phones as well. So you can stick around to know what's happening with your Samsung Galaxy phone. And also let me know if you're interested in watching videos about uh, the iOS 
uh, 26 comparison videos with the One UI, drop a comment and let me know. I'm yet to get the uh, developer preview of the iOS 26 on my iPhone 16 Pro Max here, uh, which I'll do it in a few days. So stay tuned for some comparison videos. We'll compare not only the iOS 26 and the One UI, we'll also compare it with the Pixel Phone's new Material 3 Expressive. Uh, so stay tuned for those videos. That's about it. I almost forgot one more thing that is about the wallpaper uh, application Wallverse. We have just hit 3000 wallpapers on the application. So you have got plenty of collections, plenty of wallpapers, both free and premium. And every day we add at least about 10 to 20 wallpapers so that you don't get bored of the application. So go ahead, download the app. You can go for a premium version if you want to get rid of the ads and unlock all the categories. Go ahead and install the app from the link given in the description. That's about it. Thanks for watching. You guys Take care and stay safe. Cheers. Bye-bye.